No. Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Hard Truck Apocalypse. Well, last time we uh, found an alien spaceship that crashed here, and now we're going to get an explanation for it. Also, um, don't get too close to it because apparently here I am. You can't resist it and uh, get sucked into the source and you know freeze for all of time. That's what happened to Ivan Go. He's in that mass of unfortunate souls somewhere. Okay, let's see what the scientist has to say now. Your willpower is impressive. You could resist the voice of heaven. The voice of heaven. Aliens. I don't know what you're talking about. Oh. You saw them all standing there. Few find strength to return from the source. For years we've been waiting for you to come. Ah, oh. let's get to the point. You are destined to stop the madness that seized all those people. I'll do what I can, but what happened here? Yeah, good question. Years ago, our world was different. There were huge sit countries, cities with millions of dwell dwellers, clever machines that did your work for you, oh boy. Everything was simple. But suddenly, the world collapsed. Clever machines? I wouldn't trust them. What happened? Yeah, good, good. Good on you. Military forces spotted an unidentified flying object, which was immediately brought down. Ah, you saw it on your way. Yep, yeah, we saw it. I was part of the group that was sent to examine the mysterious object. The country was on the verge of war. Why? We were the only scientists left studying this UFO. Little wonder we were in a hurry and a bit careless. <laughs> Go on. When we got on board the ship, it was a ship, no doubt, yeah. Or a static. We thought of the endless opportunities, new medicine, ultra-strong materials, revolutionary technologies. Okay. But we found death instead. Several scientists got crushed by the machines. Three of my colleagues committed suicide. But the worst thing happened when we opened a sealed cell in the central tank. Oh boy. Yeah. Don't, don't open sealed things. You shouldn't have done that. But we are scientists! Science! We don't believe in superstition. Anyway, the moment we opened that door, all hell broke loose. My colleagues, their bodies exploded. Uh, I heard the strange voice inside my head. I, I blacked out when I woke up. I was outside the ship in the camp. I called for help, but nobody came. The radio was silent. I realized that there was a cat catastrophe. Yeah. So you've destroyed the world to satisfy your curiosity. Yes, and it's killing me. I've got to be punished, but I don't feel pain. God knows how many times I tried to kill myself, but in, all in vain. I can't die. <laughs> it was... It was terrible. I thought I was the only survivor, but more people started to arrive. I was horrified when I saw how much they mutated. Just look at me or yourself. I dread to think what's under your mask. Ooh. What are you talking about? We're ma wearing masks because the air is contam contaminated. Yeah, it's contaminated. Whatever, let it be the air. <laughs> what matters now is the device is still working and it keeps contaminating the atmosphere. Oh. If we turn it off, are people going to be normal again? Why didn't you go back and stop the device? Yeah. I, I can neither come close to the device nor leave this place. I am doomed to stay here and watch. Well, that sucks. All I can do is ask people to destroy the damn thing. Not that anyone has succeeded. I've got to save all those people. There must be a way to turn off the machine without getting too close. And then the other option is you've done humanity so much harm. Huh? I'm going to blow this place along with you. How would that solve anything? No. Option number one. Ivan Go talked about strange lights in the sky. And he wasn't all that surprised when he saw the shape of the spaceship. He'd probably seen it already. Hmm. What? Has Ben... Th friend Ben Throttle might know something about it? I must talk to him. Oh! That's different. Off you go, and may luck be with you. I'll need it. Huh. That's different. Okay. We gotta go see Ben Throttle. Back to Midgard! <laughs> what a surprise. Oh, can we use our, um... Okay. Oh. 
yours are fancy schmancy Let thing. us show you the way around the military base. Hey. I do need the detour. I'm ready to fight with them. Together we will win. Uh. Calm down. You have a mission of utmost importance. Do not waste any time on these mad men. about them. All right. Lead the way. Thank you for, get it, for forgetting about them. By the way, those mad men are the ones that actually killed our father. It's showtime. They didn't really explain that too well. Oh, yeah. Now let me show you the way to death. There's a couple of madmen. Farewell. Yeah, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna keep running. Get ready to oh, jeez. Yeah, I'm gonna keep running. Come on, Turbo Boost. I need to keep running. Here I am. Come on. Where the hell am I? Oh crap, I went the wrong way, didn't I? No, I didn't. Okay, there's the base. Okay, where he brought us is this area. Yeah, I did kind of go the wrong way. I need to go up that way, but I can get down to the road here. Carefully. Carefully. Not too carefully, though, because I'm going to die. That's a rock. <laughs> My patented move and shoot plan is not working too well. Well, I don't think I patented it, but whatever. Okay. Prepare. We made it. So far. Yeah, I know I can get out of here from here. Oh, that stupid little hill. Good thing we made a lot of money because this is where it's all gonna go to repairs till the end of the game, I would think. Oh, yeah, you guys know. We'll go around this way. <laughs> oh, damn, don't kill off the music. I'm not that entertaining. We. Well, that was cool. So, yeah, aliens. That, that's uh, that's what we're dealing with now. Actually, I haven't seen any aliens. There's a spaceship. UFO. Huh. Gotta believe it's aliens, though. That's a good point. I don't know. Kill them all! Next, please. Got the little truck. Oh, there's the way out. I'm hurt! <laughs> You're hurt, huh? I get hit hurt more. Ah, oh. yes. Thank you for counting as being at the borderline, even though I totally missed the gate. Okay, we're out of the most dangerous place. go to Ben Throttle. About the aliens, okay. Neutralize the source. We need to neutralize the source somehow. Huh? Ben Throttle might know how somehow. Now he's in near Midgard, which is here. We are behind. Yeah, going out to here wouldn't help anything. <laughs> Just making sure. I wanted to use that fancy submarine thing, but Well, we got a drive ahead of us. Well, it's not too bad, actually. Difference. I was too high above those turrets. Yeah, I know. I'm trying to go out like a badass and just drive down the main highway here. All well and good until I get jumped by like eight red guys. Really? So hard to hit. 
turrets. Okay, that one was dead. Good. and I missed anyway, but you know. there. I'm going the right way, right? Please tell me they're green. Oh, thank God. Hi guys, have fun being crazy. Okay. That was two bunches and they're probably about to, uh, two different clans and they're probably about to square off on each other or something. Alright, here's Ben Throttle. Finally found him. Made my way around to him. What, what am I driving over? Ben. Nope, I haven't forgotten about you. Flying ships. Yeah, did he see flying ships? Wish I could have just called you, by the way. Do you have a phone? He did, in fact. Oh, why didn't you tell me before? Just to sit on the grass and swap stories. He would tell me about the lights in the sky, the shining disks, and that sort of rubbish. Wasn't that much rubbish. You had one of them, or somebody tried to sell it to you mentioned seal and I told him seal it was I'd love to oh cut don't cut out story I really need to be good but it's really important now that you mentioned it I remember one legend saw a lot in my travels oh you bastard Everyone. yes I want I want to read it please read it okay at least you let him give me the damn book Dense! Look, look, I ran into a, a rock just for you, for being dense. Uh, okay, let's see. Let's see this book. Okay, traces lead to seal. Okay, I need to go to seal next, but first, where's this book? Oh, I, didn't, I haven't read the history for a while either. Okay, <laughs> I remember where I cut off with last time reading the history, but a visit caused panic among the Burka people, the elders. It was only when they realized I didn't mean them harm that they said their story. Yeah, we know their stories about the madness and stuff. Pretty much the closer you get to the UFO, the, the crazier people get. Yeah, people in tanks could... Couldn't let them kill innocent people. Turn, they told me, a man who fits the description of my father once passed through their village. My father? No, Ivan, go. Not my father. That's wrong. <laughs> that's wrong. Found an armored truck in the sands. Heavily damaged combat. Okay, that's Ivan goes. Found a jacket. My father's name on it? Been there? No, Ivan Go's been there. I don't know. Maybe I shouldn't be trying to read this. It's been there. It looks like he continued on foot. Took a few gadgets. Really? I got some gadgets. 
Nothing prepared me for the army of madmen. Yeah. <laughs> Saved by unexpected allies. And there's the terrible sight. Many people are standing motionless around a huge metal mountain. Huge metal mountain. It's called a UFO. Couldn't <laughs> say whether they were dead or alive. Yeah. Yep, Ivan Go was one of them. Yeah, he's stuck there. Alright. I could feel the power coming from the center of the human circle, calling me to join the majority. I managed to resist it and return to the settlement. Here I learned about the catastrophe. Yeah, yeah, we read all that. Okay. There must be a way to stop the madness. Ivan Go saw the mechanism somewhere before. And Ben Throttle. Okay. Now a book, I think. Scary story, you know, I read that. I know this last one. That's it, okay, good. One book. It's a long one, though. Oof. Yeah, <laughs> feel free to skip this. I tried to analyze the reasons of the catastrophe and came to the conclusion that it was evolutionary leap triggered by an unknown power. I dread to think what would have, what we would have turned into had we been prepared for the gift. Oh. Whoever gave us this power has done it before time. The process of skin transformation under this mask was almost over. Ooh. But the people needed a leap of faith to complete it. Yet they grew so attached to the new world and the fear of unknown was so strong that they couldn't let themselves go. People preferred to live and die as children of the earth. Their numbers dwindled. Those who remained were holding on to their farm, former life, even though the, they only had a distant memory of what human life was like. It wasn't easy to lead the life of human when you don't, didn't know what you were supposed to do. So they tried to recreate, recreate towns and governments and engage themselves in the most archaic activities, trade and war. Yeah, that's what's been going on. The more people realize their spiritual nature, the harder they tried to surround themselves with objects that reminded them of their former life. That's their love for vehicles. The uh, vehicles, yeah. The objects that are always with you that you that let you be who you are. So the truck becomes everything to the modern man. It's his home, his identity, and his weapon. The economy of the new world is based on truck production, service, and refueling. <laughs> I guess that's what we've been doing. The money is spent solely on the truck upgrades. The, tr the truck has become a fetish of the new man. All hopes and ambitions were now focused on this piece of metal on wheels. There remained some other emotions, of course, but these were, in fact, memories of emotions. You should put an end to this imitation of life. Oh. So are we even human, still? That's... That's some good X-Files stuff right there. I wonder what's under the mask. I wonder if we ever get to see. Anyway, still red with North Path. Time's okay. Well, I think next step is to go to Seal. Yeah. I think I'll probably head to Seal off camera. And, um, this is probably good for a video. Yeah, I'm almost at half an hour. And I'll see you there in Seal. And, uh, see what we do next. Alright, see you then. Later.